In this scenario, we are looking at a warehouse protected with a VXR dry system equipped with an accelerator. The VXR is a differential drive valve that operates on a mechanical advantage with a 6 to 1 pressure differential. The valve features minimal moving parts and can be externally reset. The EA1 is a microprocessor equipped quick opening device. By monitoring the air pressure in half second increments, the EA1 can detect an activated sprinkler and trip the system within 4 seconds making it faster than other quick opening devices in a variety of system designs. Since it's an electric detector, it's resistant to false activations and interference from debris and the water supply, making it more consistent when compared to mechanical accelerators. In a scenario where a fire has started in the warehouse and begins to grow, sprinklers will operate. Air escapes through the operated sprinklers causing the air pressure within the outlet of the valve, the trim, and pipes to drop. With the equipped accelerator, the sudden drop in air pressure from the sprinkler operation causes the EA1 to activate within 4 seconds and send a signal to the VFR500 release control panel. Once the signal is received, the VFR500 sends 24 volts of electricity to the normally closed electric solenoid valve and powers it open. Air is redirected to the intermediate chamber of the VXR valve, adding additional pressure under the clapper. The decreasing air pressure over the clapper reduces the mechanical advantage within the VXR valve. Water from the inlet chamber of the valve pushes the clapper open and into the system piping. The water flow alarm is activated. Remaining air pressure in lines without sprinklers that have operated allows the flow of water to bypass those pipe branches and quickly reach the operated sprinklers. The sprinklers continue to control the fire until the fire department arrives.